The Indonesian archipelago is one of the most important zones of marine biodiversity on the planet. Tourism, aquaculture and fishing contribute several billion dollars a year to the regional economy. These resources are under threat as never before. Every year, illegal fishing deprives the Indonesian government and fishermen of two to three billion dollars. Global warming, pollution and coastal deforestation are threatening these natural resources. To combat these risks and become the world's leading producer of seafood, fished sustainably with a label of certified origin, the Indonesian government has chosen CLS. The subsidiary of CNES, Ifremer and Ardian has provided the Indonesian government with INDISO, a national centre for monitoring and long-term management of Indonesian marine resources to accompany the satellite-based fishing vessel monitoring system VMS already installed by CLS. INDISO has invested in the latest satellite technology to sustainably manage marine resources, protect and monitor the marine and coastal environment, combat illegal fishing and accidental pollution. Indonesia is among the leading suppliers of tuna for the international market. In order to monitor and protect this activity, in 2003, Indonesia asked CLS to supply it with a vessel monitoring system, VMS, for monitoring fishing activities by satellite. This system, consisting of a surveillance center and more than 3,000 satellite location beacons, was the first step towards establishing the regulations but it also helped fishermen prove where their catches came from. This vital traceability information has allowed them to export to places such as Europe or the Americas. Today, all fishing vessels with a displacement of more than 30 GT must be equipped with the VMS system. This is the law in Indonesia in order to get a fishing license. The use of Argos or other VMS transmitters helps us monitor fishing boats at sea. VMS has many advantages. It can detect transshipments at sea. We can follow all the boats and know where they are fishing. With the VMS, we can protect our marine resources, monitor fishing boats and protect our seas for the future. In the interests of sustainable exploitation, the Indonesian government has decided to more clearly define its fishery management plans for the most heavily exploited species of tuna. With the Indiso Centre, CLS has developed and supplied decision support tools for the Ministry of Fisheries. These tools include models based on 20 years of CLS expertise that simulate changes in tuna populations given variations in climate, the quality of the marine environment and pressure from fishing. These models are used to assess fish stocks, monitor their evolution with time and the changes in their spatial distribution and monitor the evolution of fish distribution. With Indiso, Indonesia has a valuable decision support tool for developing seasonal or annual regulations that are more relevant, urgent interim measures, or long-term tuna fishery management plans. Indiso is a very important for Indonesia that uh, Indiso will be the first center for the oceanographic observation. Indiso will be support a lot of uh, decision-making process for the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries with the main objective is the, to have a tool for manage the sustainable of the marine resources. In a forthcoming third step, all fishing vessels will be equipped with a system that transmits an electronic copy of their logbook. Fishermen will be required to submit the results of their fishing trips in real time and report to the authorities the quantity and sizes of fish caught and even the place they were caught. These electronic logbooks will improve the effectiveness of controls, educate fishermen about the resources and ultimately help manage marine resources in a sustainable manner. Nearly three quarters of all farmed shrimp are produced in Asia and particularly in Indonesia. The shrimp industry is a major source of revenue for Indonesia. World demand for seaweed is constantly growing, notably from the cosmetics and agri-food industries, to the extent that many Indonesian fishermen have converted to seaweed farming. These key economic sectors can be optimized 
and these practices conducted under increasingly environmentally friendly conditions. With a view to developing and promoting optimized, sustainable farming and aquaculture practices, the Indiso Center provides satellite images and ocean models. These sources of information will enable the Indonesians to advise farmers on the establishment of new seaweed fields or aquaculture farms. This information is also useful for the protection of coral reefs and mangroves. With Indiso, CLS has helped Indonesia take a significant step forward for monitoring the environment. The Indonesian government is engaged in a continuous struggle against illegal fishing. Many illegal fishing boats come to plunder Indonesia's teeming waters before returning to their own countries. More than half of the income from fishing that should by rights go to Indonesians is misappropriated by illegal fishing. This is why the Indonesian government considers the issue to be of national importance. The Indiso infrastructure includes a station for acquiring the high-resolution radar satellite images essential for real-time surveillance of maritime activities. Radar satellite imagery is a key technology for detecting illegal fishing vessels. The satellites, combined with the expertise of Indonesian analysts trained by CLS, can detect all vessels in an area of interest. Their positions are then checked against those reported by the tracking systems that have already been installed on cooperative ships that are part of the legal Indonesian fishing fleet, boats with a fishing license. By comparing these sources of information and noting any differences, illegal fishing vessels can be detected. Indiso has given the government the means to detect the guilty parties and intercept their vessels. In terms of illegal fishing, Indiso infrastructure to uh, radar satellite and radar uh, observation and uh, interpretation. We can detect uh, faster and earlier uh, to help the related uh, Director General within the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries to act faster to stop or to combat the IU fishing, not only the illegal one but also the unreported and the unregulated. Combating illegal fishing is a major mission for Indonesia. The conservation of this natural heritage and the development of the Indonesian economy, which is directly linked to the local fisheries, depend on its effectiveness. Oil spills have a serious impact on the marine environment. The wildlife in Indonesia's waters, whether it be planktonic organisms, krill, juvenile or adult fish, birds or marine mammals, is highly vulnerable to this type of pollution. Coral reefs take a long time to recover, which makes this type of pollution even more damaging. To tackle this problem, only satellites are able to help by providing round-the-clock surveillance, day and night, and in all weather conditions across the entire vast Indonesian maritime territory. The local government therefore asked CLS to provide it with the means to combat oil pollution. CLS included a pollution detection facility within Indiso. Radar satellites transmit radar data acquired from space to Indiso in real time. When analyzed, these images enable the authorities to be alerted in real time. The Indiso Center is therefore the only one of its kind in the world, built to order by CLS for the Indonesian government. Indiso hosts the world's most sophisticated acquisition station and satellite data processing center. The station is essential for real-time monitoring of the maritime domain and for effectively combating illegal fishing and pollution. With data from more than 20 satellites received daily by the Indiso center, Indonesians can rely on the best information to help with decision-making. With its models for forecasting the state of the ocean and changes in marine resources custom-built by CLS, Indiso enables Indonesians to anticipate and sustainably manage their marine and aquaculture resources. More than 40 Indonesian scientists, engineers, operators and project leaders have been trained by CLS and the partner universities and now work here every day. The French and Indonesian teams spent several years developing this project, getting it off the ground and making it operational. The missions of this monitoring centre are to predict changes in fishery resources, protect and develop these resources and make them Indonesia's most valuable asset. <laughs>